The world is constantly changing, and with it, the global order. As a result, it's important to be prepared to deal with these changes. Whether they are political, economic, or social. Here are some principles to keep in mind when dealing with a changing world order. 1. Understand the historical context. Understanding the historical context of the changing world order is critical to developing an effective strategy. By examining past events and trends, we can identify patterns and make more informed decisions about how to respond to current events. 2. Stay informed. Staying informed about global events and trends is essential for anyone seeking to navigate the changing world order. This may include reading news articles, following social media, and attending conferences and events. 3. Cultivate adaptability. Adaptability is key to surviving and thriving in a changing world order. This may involve being open to new ideas, technologies, and ways of doing things, as well as being willing to take calculated risks. 4. Develop a global perspective. Developing a global perspective is essential for understanding the complexities of the changing world order. This may include learning about different cultures, languages, and political systems, as well as building relationships with people from around the world. 5. Collaborate and network. Collaboration and networking are critical for navigating the changing world order. By building relationships with others, we can share information and resources as well as leverage collective expertise and experience. 6. Embrace innovation. Embracing innovation is essential for staying ahead of the curve. In a changing world order, this may involve experimenting with new technologies, approaches, and business models, as well as being open to new ideas and concepts. 7. Invest in education and skill development. Investing in education and skill development is crucial for staying competitive. In a changing world order, this may include pursuing advanced degrees, attending training programs, or taking online courses to develop new skills. 8. Build resilience. Building resilience is essential for dealing with the inevitable challenges and setbacks that come with a changing world order. This may involve developing coping strategies, building support networks, and cultivating a positive mindset. 9. Stay true to your values. Staying true to your values is important for maintaining a sense of purpose and meaning in a changing world order. This may involve identifying your core values, setting clear goals, and aligning your actions with your values and beliefs. 10. Take action. Finally, taking action is essential for making progress in a changing world order. This may involve advocating for change, starting a business or nonprofit organization, or participating in political or social movements. Let again deep a little bit. What are examples of the failure of world order principles in world history? 
World order principles refer to the rules and norms that govern international relations and shape the behavior of states and other international actors. While there have been many successful examples of world order principles throughout history, there have also been several notable failures. Here are a few examples. 1. The Treaty of Versailles The Treaty of Versailles, which ended World War I, was an attempt to establish a new world order based on the principles of self-determination and collective security. However, the treaty imposed harsh reparations on Germany, leading to economic turmoil and political instability that contributed to the rise of Nazi Germany and the outbreak of World War II. 2. The Failure of the League of Nations The League of Nations was created after World War I to promote international cooperation and prevent future conflicts. However, the organization failed to prevent the aggression of Japan, Italy, and Germany in the 1930s, leading to the outbreak of World War II. 3. The Cold War The Cold War was a period of geopolitical tension between the United States and the Soviet Union that lasted from the end of World War II until the early 1990s. The competing world order principles of capitalism and communism led to a global arms race and numerous proxy wars, resulting in the loss of countless lives and significant geopolitical instability. 4. The Rwandan Genocide The Rwandan Genocide in 1994 was a failure of the world order principle of the responsibility to protect. The international community failed to intervene and prevent the genocide, leading to the deaths of an estimated 800,000 people. 5. The ongoing Syrian Civil War The Syrian Civil War, which began in 2011, has been a failure of the world order principle of humanitarian intervention. The international community has been unable to end the conflict, which has resulted in the displacement of millions of people and widespread human suffering. These examples demonstrate the significant consequences of the failure of world order principles and the importance of continuing to develop and uphold principles that promote peace, security, and human rights. What is the role of media in constant changing world order? The media plays a crucial role in shaping and reflecting the constant changing world order as the world order shifts and evolves. The media serves as a vital source of information and analysis helping people make sense of complex global events and issues. Here are a few ways in which the media impacts the changing world order. 1. Providing information. The media is responsible for reporting on global events and providing accurate and timely information to the public. This information is critical in helping people understand the changing world order and the impact it has on their lives. 2. Shaping public opinion The media has the power to shape public opinion and influence public policy. 
By reporting on global events and issues, the media can raise awareness and mobilize public opinion around critical issues such as climate change, human rights, and international conflict. 3. Holding governments accountable. The media can play a crucial role in holding governments and other international actors accountable for their actions by reporting on corruption, human rights abuses, and other abuses of power. The media can help expose wrongdoing and promote accountability. 4. Fostering cross-cultural understanding. In a constantly changing world order, the media can help foster cross-cultural understanding and promote dialogue between different communities and nations by reporting on diverse perspectives and experiences. The media can help break down stereotypes and promote mutual understanding. 5. Driving innovation and change. The media is also a driving force behind innovation and change in the global order. By providing a platform for new ideas and perspectives, the media can help drive social and political change and promote progress and innovation. In summary, the media plays a vital role in shaping and reflecting the changing world order. From providing information and shaping public opinion to holding governments accountable and fostering cross-cultural understanding. As the world continues to evolve, the media's role in shaping the global conversation will only become more critical. In conclusion, dealing with a changing world order requires a combination of knowledge skills, and mindset. By understanding the historical context, staying informed, cultivating adaptability, developing a global perspective, collaborating and networking, embracing innovation, investing in education and skill development, building resilience, staying true to your values, and taking action, you can navigate the changing world order and create a positive impact in your personal and professional life.